How often do you think about the earth you stand on? You walk on it every day, but how often do we actually see or feel the real earth, the soil, the dirt that supports us because it's covered up with concrete or linoleum or parking spaces or steel or wood. But without the earth, where would we be? The earth sustains us. The earth gives us food. And have you noticed that there's different earths in different places? The first earth I remember was the rich red clay of Georgia. We'd visit our grandmother in Cedartown, Georgia, and that clay was red, not like an apple, but somewhere between a red of a carrot and an apple. And it was moist, like clay. And some of the kids actually ate it. Some people said it was good for you. Then we went to Florida, and the first time we went to the beach, I looked on the sand, and it was white as new fallen snow of Minnesota. White, smooth, beautiful sand. Then, the next soil I remember it's many years later, in Des Moines, Iowa, rich, black, fertile earth. Anything can grow in it. I grew flowers, trees, rich, life-giving soil. And then I moved to Arizona, and the earth was sand. But oddly enough, Life-giving sand in Hopi, you could grow corn in that sand, and even melons. And now here in Alaska, we have brown, tan, rocky beaches and dark, fertile earth. Look at the earth. Find it. Feel it. Be grateful for it. And come back later on for another three-minute story. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe.